Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday so that means it's time for another weekly wrap up vlog. Now there, there hasn't been a whole lot that's gone on. I mean I talked a, a little bit about what I've been up to this week in Wednesday's uh, video so I don't want to repeat myself and talk about uh, you know what I did prior to you know the past couple of days. So uh, as I'm recording this it's like one o'clock in the morning Thursday night Friday morning. So really there's only Thursday to talk about so but some some fun things did happen today we actually got out of the house for a while and we went into to uh, Tyler and you know went shopping a little bit went to see a movie so I you know I can talk about that stuff so uh, you know if you want to know what else happened this week and what else I'm up to you can go check out the previous video uh, which is titled waiting at the eye doctor you can check that out and get updates for the past few days so Today we went. We decided to go to a movie. We actually, for Christmas, we got from uh, Lisa's sister uh, tickets to uh, like like free admission tickets to Studio Movie Grill, and we also got a, a twenty five dollar gift card. So it was like, okay, that's cool. We we got several gift cards, but this one, the tickets expired today on on February 9th, so we had to use them. It was like, okay, we got to go. And uh, we finally decided to, to do that. So we uh, actually went to see Hidden Figures. We were, we were, it was between that and Split. And we, our shopping got, went a little long, so we had to wait until the next movie. And, you know, Split came on at 4.30. Hidden Figures came on at 5.30. We were still at the store at 4.30, so we decided to just see Hidden Figures. And... First of all, I've never been to Studio Movie Grill or any place like that. We have a place back in Lexington, uh, Kentucky, called uh, Movie Tavern, and I'd never been there. I hadn't uh, had a chance to go, and I assumed this was similar, um, but I still had never been there. So I was very thankful for these tickets, so I, I finally got to go. And so we went in, and it turns out like there's this whole restaurant downstairs and well it's not downstairs just as soon as you walk in there's this whole restaurant so you could actually go there and just eat you don't even have to see a movie so that was pretty cool and you know as you go in you you tell them what movie you're there to see and then you pick your seats and then they hand you a menu and tell you what theater to go to so you just walk to the theater with your menu and when you get to your seats which are so much better seats than a, than a typical theater uh, nice plush. They had the lumbar support in the lower back. It was it was very nice. Lots of leg room, and then they have like these swinging, uh, basically kind of TV trays, but a little bit more sturdy than that. And they they have this this little uh, button thing on there uh, that you click when you're ready to order. So we sit down. Uh, we we got there like 30 minutes early, and we sit down and we're flipping through the menu. And it's actually a really solid menu too. A lot of a lot of chicken dishes. There were some burgers and stuff like that. Salads, desserts. And everything uh, it is fairly expensive so I'm kind of glad we had the uh, the gift card and the free tickets so but we both ended up getting a blackened chicken pasta that came with bread and uh, we also got a, a starter of uh, onion rings to share and it came with this Creole sauce and th these are the absolute best onion rings I've ever tasted in my life they were just really cooked well and also the, the best thing about it was that usually when you eat an onion ring, it's you know hard to, to chew into it to bite the onion in half, or you pull the onion completely out. These just like melted in your mouth. It was like so tender, the onion just basically fell apart. Beautiful, and they served it with this Creole uh, sauce, this dipping sauce, that was fantastic. So it was a really good meal. And so we saw Hidden Figures, which if you don't know, it's about the NASA program and how uh, several African American women were actually in, uh, integral, integral, I don't know how you say that word, um, to the entire uh, process of getting uh, Americans into space. And, you know, how you know, they were mathematicians, they, were, they called them computers, and how several of them, well, specifically three of them, <clears throat> excuse me, excelled in different fields and, and kind of just turned the entire program on its head. It was a fantastic movie. Taraji P. Henson uh, starred as, as Catherine uh, Johnson, and uh, she was fantastic. Uh, there was, I forget the actresses' names that played the other two, but it was uh, Mary, 
oh, I can't think of her last name, and Dorothy Vaughn. Dorothy Vaughn ended up running the IBM computers, and Mary was became an engineer, and uh, it it was a fantastic, powerful film. I absolutely loved it. We, we both enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, there was some humor in it, but a, a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of serious things happen in it. So, you know, it, it was a really good film, well worth the two hours, and it was a great film to sit there and eat a nice meal too as well. Uh, I, I highly recommend that that film if you're into those kinds of films that are that are historically based, that, you know, um, th there were a couple of moments that, you know, it was very emotional, so. All right, so uh, beyond that, before we went to... Um, hidden figures we went to michael's we were looking around for some specific things but we browsed and they were having some sales so we actually picked up some things and uh got them right here first of all lisa got this it's a it's an artist pin and if you'll notice it's got uh like almost like a brush tip and she was she's uh trying to get more into inking and things like that and she wanted to try the, these out and she really wanted to try it like a Prismacolor um, brush pen uh, they were a little bit more and uh, you know they were behind lock and they were locked in a case and we didn't want to fool with all that so she saw this and, and decided to pick that up and, and give that a shot so we'll see how that goes uh, as for me first of all I got this nice nifty case and what it is, it's, it's a case for your art supplies. And I've been lugging around this uh, plastic container. And it's just, it's not good. Uh, <laughs> it's like the lid won't stay on. I have to tape it shut and everything. And I don't draw as much as I used to anymore. But I recently drew an eagle for Lisa's mom. She was giving these Valentine's cards to veterans. And she asked me to draw some, you know, little doodles, patriotic stuff. So I, I drew this eagle. And I really enjoyed it and, and kind of missed it. And uh, so we were there, and I was just looking, but as you can see, you can fit like all your pencils, and you can fit uh, erasers and stuff in that pocket there. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was it was a really good price for that. And then Lisa spotted this sketchbook, which is just your typical fair sketchbook, but uh, it was on sale for five bucks or six bucks or something like that. And it's 110 pages, um, so eight and a half by 11. And then she also spotted this set of uh, pencils and charcoal. And I was I was just gonna get a needed eraser because mine uh, mine is just crap now. And I needed one. And she saw this and was like, you know, this is on sale too. It's 18 piece. It's it's pencils and charcoal. You got your ebony pencils. You got your um, regular pencils you got some charcoal here you got different shades you got medium hard and soft gray light gray and white you got a regular eraser here you got what looks like some blending tools you got a sharpener uh, so it was pretty cool so pretty happy about that and then after the movie we went we ended up going to target uh, because I I specifically was going there for for a reason, and that's because one of my dry erase markers. I have a dry erase board like right up here that I put all my uh, daily to do list and everything and all the projects I'm currently working on, both for Last Number Press and just uh, lettering and and different things that I'm working on. I, I you know keep track of it every day and I check it off. Uh, but my blue pen was out and I needed one, and all I had was like this light green. Uh, so I ended up getting this entire uh, set, and it's the same brand, and, and it goes with my dry erase board and everything, so I wanted to go there specifically to pick this up, and the cool thing is these are magnetized, so I can just stick them right on the board, um, and they have built-in erasers as well, so got a variety of colors there. While we were there, we, we looked at some uh, stuff. We, we picked up these. We were looking for a binder um, for Pokemon cards, and... Uh, picked up some sleeves but did not find a binder we wanted uh you guys know that i'm part of what the card on youtube youtube.com slash what the card it's a channel where we open pokemon cards and everything uh and i i've talked about this in brief before i was never into pokemon it was a little bit after my time my brother was super into it so i watched the cartoon with him and i played yeah you know the cards with him and everything and recently uh my friend chris 
decided to launch this channel, uh, him and his brother, and then Lisa really got excited about because you know she's a little bit younger than me, and she did she was in the Pokemon when she was younger, and so she got excited about it, and it kind of got me into it and, and got me excited about it, and now I'm like it's cool trying to you know open it up and, and figuring out what you're gonna get and you know find out what you're gonna get. It's it's fun. So Sun and Moon just came out last week. And we did not pre-order, so we did not get it early. We didn't even get it that week. So we finally went out and we decided to get an Elite Trainer box. We got the Sun one, and we're going to open this on what the card the week after next, either Tuesday or Thursday. So I, I will talk about it when we do it um, in my vlog here. So we will be opening this, and uh, we'll see what we get. But that's it. We also got a few other things for Lisa's uh, business and some other things we're trying out uh, that you know I don't have handy to show you. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to talk about some of this stuff. So I will uh, save that for another time. So that that's pretty much it. When we came home, we tried out the uh, new FX show Legion, which is based on a Marvel comic. In the comics, Legion is uh, David Hall Holler, uh, and he is the son of Moira McTaggart and Professor X from the X-Men. Don't know if they're tying that in to the larger franchise. They do reference him as a mutant, so we'll see. It's a very interesting show. It's a 90-minute debut, and or premiere, I should say. It was, it was very interesting because you're not really sure what parts of it are actually in David's head and which parts are real if any of it's real it could all be in his head because he's clinically diagnosed as a you know dissociative disorder schizophrenia and everything and really it's his mutant power that you know he, he uh, it's a whole thing but it's possible that the entire show is in his head we just don't know um, it's interesting the way that it's filmed and the way that it jumps back and forth and you're just never really sure. And I, I kind of like that. But at the same time, it's like, what did I just watch? <laughs> so it's it's very interesting, though. Um, decent decent premiere for it. And uh, I'll, I'll definitely check out a couple more episodes at least and see, what, see what's up with it. So really, that's pretty much it. Um, now I've got a lot of work to do. I, you know, I took this day out because I knew I had this project to finish up. And like I talked about Wednesday. And so I've got to dig into that and it's going to be a very busy um, day tomorrow <laughs> to say that uh, probably a busy weekend as well and you know I, I I don't know there's not really much else going on there is a new Funko spotlight I'm it's uh, on a Captain America Funko over on Comet Frontline today and next week's will be Daenerys Targaryen and the dragon I can't think of the name of the dragon but that'll be next week's Funko Spotlight over on Comet Frontline. And there will be a new public Patreon post on Last Number Press's Patreon today. That means it's free to read. You don't have to, to be a patron to, uh, to access it. You can just go check it out. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's what's going on. It's going to be a working weekend. And, uh, you know, I guess I, the next time you guys will see me, will be on another episode of Monday Musings right here on this channel. So hopefully you tune in for that. Hopefully you're enjoying that series and all my vlogs, all my videos. Again, like I said Wednesday, leave a comment below if there's a certain type of video you'd like to see me do or, you know, whatever. So until next time, thank you guys for checking out this video. You can always follow me on Twitter, friend me on Facebook, and you can follow LastNumberPress.com, LastNumberPress on YouTube, Zone4Podcast.com, ComicFrontline.com, Comic Frontline on YouTube, and What the Card on YouTube. And until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Be good. Have a great weekend.